Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's head on over to Tidy Park now and see if we can get that last badge on the ninth hole, if at all possible. Maybe, hopefully, and also, you know, as as usual, I'm gonna take a little exploratory look around here and see if anything new appears. I I'm not thinking that there's gonna be anything more, considering that I've already done this with literally five other areas up to this point, so I don't know, I think I've cleared out all the side quests, although I did think that I had all the side quests cleared at the Bermuda Isles, but no, no, I, I got a lawnmower <laughs> for that ridiculous hole-in-one, but still, but still, you just never know what you might come across. And I'm not really coming across anything here, but luckily this area is pretty small, so it's not really that much to look through. I'd say the the, the main portion of this area that we ended up with was the murder mystery, which was done all throughout the clubhouse. But you know that was uh, still two parts worth, and yeah. Now, now can we go back into older rooms? No, we cannot. We can never see those rooms again. Ever! Oh wait, 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 hold on, I want to see something here. I, I, I forgot this. Can I look through this wall, or did I try that before? No, because I thought, because remember the, uh, yeah, he was looking through the painting's eyes there before. I was like, hmm, I wonder if I can do that myself, but nope. 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 Not even new dialogue by the peeps. <laughs> well, they might have to... I'd have to ask the bearded man themselves, but maybe, maybe they'll never believe him. How about you, sleepy woman who has very specific needs to sleep? Yes, he has. Yeah, not really new dialogue, I guess. Vinegar Solution is doing wonders for my hair. I can't really do summer. Nope, nope. And this is, you gotta peg at the pink girl. Yeah, yeah. I see. I see. So, yep. Not really much to explore here. <laughs> I didn't even think that there was any new rainbow holes or anything like that because I, I skimmed the camera all the way to the sides of the screen all the way through and yeah, it just didn't look like it was moving any further. So it's time for a round, I, I guess. Wait, actually, I was going to say, how do you uh, just start up a round normally? I don't think I've ever started up a round normally, but can, do you do it here? Yes, you do! <laughs> Because it was like every time I played this course, it was during a tournament, it was during uh, a, a match play thing. But I've never actually went to the pro shop for that. All I did is go to the pro shop to buy out the clubs they had there, and here we are. Are you going to give me the antique? Yes, you are immediately. Okay. So no matter what, I absolutely, positively must use the antique clubs to get the birdies. It should be okay. <gasps> Even better than okay! <laughs> well, that's an improvement. <laughs> I don't know how much more I can do improvement-wise on course, because it's, it's relatively short, and I played it pretty well uh, most times that I played it. There was some troubles that I had with the puddles and stuff like that, but not really that impactful to the overall score, I would say, because I was still making ridiculous shots like that that I wouldn't count on making on other rounds, too, so... Eh. 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 Oop, no, 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 not the rudder. Nope. We're gonna go back and have some nice rollout. How does that sound? I think that sounds pretty good. So just kinda drop it and flop it. Oh, are you kidding me?! <laughs> Well then, this is uh, already a actually perfect round so far <laughs> up to this point. Uh, now, no, no powers of the high tech skimming woods here. No, we've got to use our play club, also known as a driver, to get ourselves over to island to island of fairway. Oh, what? Oh, that's not good at all. Yeah, I didn't think that would land there at all. Uh, I don't think I could even make that. What if I use a power shot? 
<laughs> I don't even know if I should do that because of the randomized 24 yard range. Sure, it could work in my favor, but it may not either. <laughs> and it's a par 5 anyway, so I might as well just rudder myself out of the bunker. I wonder if anyone actually made a club that had a hole in the middle of it. Just look at that thing, it's ridiculous. <laughs> It, like, how would you even manage to hit a ball like that? You have to hit it directly square in that hole, because if you hit even a little bit off from the side of that hole, the ball would end up bouncing off in all sorts of directions. Like, a shank, probably, in a way. Because, you know, it's not, a, it's not an even surface that you're hitting into. So it's not really something that you could use in a practical sense, unless you're really nailing those shots in the center of the club where the hole is. I should say the center of the hole on the club is. <laughs> and there we go. That may have been overhit for that little little putt there, but it worked out. And yeah, so that wasn't an ego because of my little flubbery in the bunker, but that only just kind of evens things out. <laughs> As I always said, you can never truly master golf. And... It shows time and time again. Even if I try to play holes the same way that worked before, you can just miss hit a little bit, and it'll go to poo. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and... try that. Because I got a really high lofted club here. Well, as high lofted as the antique clubs go. So it should be able to get relatively close, it's just by dropping and stopping, especially since the quote-unquote greens are actually rough, or deep rough, or fairway, or, you know, everything else that's much slower than your typical green is here. <laughs> Alright. Hole 5 with deep rough around the green. Let's do this. Uh, I guess maybe land it back there. And even cut off a little bit of power there. I haven't used en enough of my... I, I, I should say any of my teeing up shots. Oh I, oh, I just realized I could have teed it up in the bunker. I'm an idiot! Ah! <laughs> well, next time. Next time. I suppose. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I, uh, I didn't use the, the, the focus, the power, the teeing up thing that you use on that meter at the bottom left there, or near bottom left, and yeah. Well, oh, I underhit it. I guess it wouldn't have mattered there either, because I would have underhit that anyway. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely not one of my best rounds on this course. Strangely, because usually I'm tearing this place up. <laughs> that's, that's how it started on here, but now I'm kind of making amateur mistakes. <laughs> Alright, par 3. It's just you and me. I'm going to try and bounce it over that front bunker and get it near the hole. How's that sound? Oh! <laughs> oh, I got the willies. Seeing it get that close to the hole. But alas, alas, I'm going to have to settle for one inch for one stroke of extra, <laughs> of extra on the scorecard. Well, you we almost reached hole number nine. I really don't know how I kept flubbing hole number nine. Well, now watch me flub it again just because I said that. But I mean, because the way that that hole is, it's so... Whoa, I really miss hit that. Because it's so straightforward that it's just like, eh, I don't know how I, how I managed to do that. It's just a par three that you just hit until you get near the hole. Um, you know what? I'm going, going to tee it up. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, I don't know what the poop I kept doing wrong there with overhitting my putts and bouncing it off the flag and everything like that, but it's like I never learned! I never learned! But this time, maybe I will learn at least well enough to get a birdie. I don't know, maybe I, could, maybe I should just try and get even closer than I was before, and then maybe I'll have less to worry about on the putt on that hole. But anyway, I should probably be focused on this actual hole that I'm on right now, and take the birdie. I wonder if I could actually get an eagle on that. I mean, I, I suppose it is possible to do that, because, you know, I did that, but I mean, like, in getting on there normally, 
in regulations with the, I mean, in under regulation, excuse me, with the anti club, rather than having to do it via a, a ridiculous chip in or something like that. Anyway, let's go ahead and hit to this small patch of fairway, but this time I have learned not to overhit. Yes! By using the powers of backspin, I can prevent it from going in the bunker, which means I can also potentially give myself the opportunity for a much easier birdie than I otherwise typically seem to have when I play this hole. It always seems like I'm scrambling on this hole to try and figure something out, but no! Not this time. Not this time. Woo! Woo! I say. Alright, this is it. The hole of champions right here. This is really straightforward hole for whatever reason, is the death of me. And you want focus first, just just for the sake of that. Okay, how does that sound? I think that sounds pretty good. Move a little bit down because of the slope, and let it rip. Just get near the hole for the love of Arceus. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Oh, please, no, not again. Please, no, just no. I don't want to do it again. I don't want to do it again. Just go in. Yeah! <laughs> I thought I was going to stop on the very edge and just... Just make me rage, but no, it's... It just teased me a little bit. Alright, so there is a completely full scorecard of happiness. That's That did not take me very long to play this course. <laughs> I guess it gives it a short length and whatnot. It's not... It's not a course that... I, I guess you really need to put a lot of thought in, like Oak Manor or something like that, so I didn't really have to think too much about my shots other than just fairway, fairway green and whatnot. So maybe before I end off the part here, I will just do a little exploration on, like, say, overworld type areas. Uh, like, for instance, instead of going over to there, you know, because this, this would be the next course over that I'm going to be doing next, instead of that, what I'm going to do is go over to the pro course and instead head on over into, yeah, the drone flight area and see if there's anything new there. One day I'll fly this drone to the moon. Yeah, maybe you will. Maybe you will. No? Nothing there? Nothing new to dig up? Nothing new to see? Well, now this is awkward. <laughs> Uh, is there really anything else that I could... Oh yeah, that's right, I didn't re-talk to Golf Guy after finishing all three rounds, did I? You're welcome to play golf anytime you like. Or maybe I did, because it does sound like... I think I did talk to him before, and he did say that before. Hmm. Hmm. Is there, is there any other side routes that I'm missing here? I don't think that there was a side route over at Snowy Town, because there was a... Uh, uh, I mean, there's this bridge here that has this mysterious little island that apparently has a teeing area that you can't tee off at, but there never seemed to be anything that appeared here, interestingly enough. So... Is that really it for this part? Because I don't, I don't want to start another course this part, that's... <laughs> I'm gonna have a ton to explore over at ye ol' snow place here, because there's the non-bandit Pac-Man area, there's this large area over here and stuff like that, so... Yeah, yeah... Actually, maybe that's what I'll do here. I'll do a little bit of that to this part, do a little bit of re-exploring this part, because I'm gonna end up doing more exploring anyway in the next part, and this is another large area anyway, so yeah. By the way, you guys still... You still throw me out, huh? Hmm. Still. Just as I thought. Alas. Alas. Oops. Cannot still go down through the snowy wasteland anyway. So I guess you guys aren't friendly at all. No matter what. Can I drop a ball and play around on this? Can I? Um, I can do still do that, but... Yes. Yes. What's the password? It is snow. Welcome aboard, fellow member! How's it going? You didn't guess the password, did you? No. So, the guy that was here, I guess, is now gone. Where did he go off to? 
Unless it's just, like, now hanging out over at the pros course or something like that. I don't know. Because it seemed like everyone was admitted membership except for me. Um, without jumping through as many hoops as I needed to. <laughs> Oops, I got myself stuck here. Oh, no, no, no! Well, I guess it doesn't matter that much. I can just go around this perimeter in this direction anyway, because I was going to go around... I should say I was going to exit out this side anyway. So, yeah, just kind of go whip myself around here and see if there's anything around. No? Yeah, it really looks like that on the post game. Well, if you've already completed the stuff, you, you don't have anything else more to complete. I guess. I guess. I'll take that flag. <laughs> you don't like people stealing your stuff? Well, I stole your flag. How do you like those apples? <laughs> and I think that's all the uh, areas that I could explore through here as well, so... Yeah, looks like I am stuck. <laughs> so with that, I guess I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when... I'll probably end up playing the Cold Wind Wastes on top of exploring its area because, you know, you know, I'm trying to get all the remaining badges. It's kind of what's been going on the last six parts or so. 